It's raining. That's okay, we have a project. Thursday, October 3rd, 2019. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, tank mates, wherever you are in your journey today. Sunday, we did not do our big reveal because we were waiting on a shipment. And so today, instead of a big reveal, we have a big project. So let's find out what that is. Yep, yep, yep. We, uh, we tore down the tank. And... We removed about an inch and a half of soil and then uh, drained the water out, the silty, muddy water, and let it settle a little bit. Our total dissolved solids before draining the tank has gone down to 463, which is good, but I think we can do better. We got our plants and our filters sitting in old tank water. So what's next? Well, we've got ourselves a bag of fluorite by Seachem. This is a clay product. And I have used it in the past in this state where we have hard water, but in a region where actually my tap water came out at about eh, it's been a long time probably maybe 7.2 to 7.4 and it would creep up to 7.8 but that was still in the normal range and I was um, I was pleased with the performance of this product because its claim to fame is that it absorbs the um, nutrients from decaying plant matter and fish so the so the um, organics from it it doesn't clean it it just absorbs the nutrients that plants can use to grow uh, at least that's my understanding of what it's designed to do I like I said I've had good luck with it and so we're gonna take down the tank and take to out some of the substrate and cap this tank with fluorite, which I know that Malaysian trumpet snails the can penetrate. The grain size is not as fine as sand, um, but certainly not the river pebbles that I've had that I had as a cat before. Malaysian trumpet snails can easily penetrate it, so they're good. And I'm hoping that this will help stabilize our water chemistry now that we're getting consistent readings with our test kits for pH, nitrates, ammonia, nitrites, and I'm forgetting one of them, but whatever. So this stuff has to be washed. It will cloud your tank. Um, and especially it will cloud it if you don't wash it. So I'm going off camera. I'm going to, you know, wash the goose poop out of this stuff. No, there's no goose poop in it. It's just a phrase. So I'm going to wash it really well, and then we'll be back. We are back finally. Believe me, it's hours later. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do this plan. I wanted to do this. Uh, re tank redo on camera for you and I am just too uh, still too dra distracted over the departure of the dog to be able to concentrate and get things done efficiently so you'll forgive me um, the dog is missed sorely missed and uh, you know, we just, we deal with things and we move on. So I will talk you through um, what I did do off camera and we'll talk about, you know, 
why it's changed, how it's changed, and so forth. So let's, I'm going to try and not bash you around. So let's zoom in for a minute. And pan down. Sorry. And zoom in. So, I took down the substrate considerably. Let's get a measuring device and find out exactly what we ended up with. I took out, and this is why I did it off camera and it took so long because I was, you know, up to my elbows. And very silty uh, soil from, from the, you know, breakdown process um, that of the soil we just started with not you know like three four months ago so it was just it was too messy and too much of a disaster so now we have on average I can't get it down any further we have about an inch and a half to two inches depending on where you are in the in the uh, you know in the circle here an inch and a half to two inches it's about an inch of the soil because it, the soil is now cycled and although we've just as we've done before we've just messed everything up but the soil is now cycled and uh, we should have some beneficial bacteria uh, surviving from that although I got rid of a lot of it a whole lot of it and that red rocky stuff on top that is the fluorite by Seachem that I talked about uh, in the previous bit I must have lost my mind because that's not black uh, that's red and I can't even like challenge my supplier because it's entirely possible in my moment of distraction here and there that I thought, well, let's just have red fluorite. You know, it's entirely possible. Okay, you're up higher now and you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, uh, pothos um, affixed. Mm -hmm. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, this this Mopani wood is a saga in itself. I just want to interject here that the, I keep calling this Mopani. It's not. It's manzanita wood. And when I made this cut, I took a still. Uh, what I was saying to you in the clip was that I could affix a net pot on top to hold the pothos. Truth be told, I could do that right now. <clears throat> If I wanted to attach a net pot right here, but I don't, at least not permanently. So the the pothos is sitting in a little baby food jar with tank water to uh, make it happy. In the meantime, we're doing our slow fill here. You recall I have to be pretty precise about our mix because we are still using one-third distilled and two-thirds tap with my tap my tap usually measuring out a pH range of 7.8 and it creeps up to 8 or even 8.2 within 48 hours usually I think we're going to let this tank fill on its own and I'm we're you and I are going to go back to the desk and discuss what the hope for outcomes might be and all that good happy stuff. It's Friday morning and I just wanted you to see this beautiful view. The sun was reflecting on our leaf change and it was so beautiful I couldn't resist bringing it to you if you've been with us for a long time as a subscriber you remember when this was our view pretty much all the time out the window but turning the corner this is the effect that that sunrise had on the tank and this 
picture does not do it justice. It's so beautiful, and I'm so pleased with the result. So let's see what the initial results are for this rescape between yesterday and today. So today being Friday, October 4th, our pH is down to 7.8. Our NH3 and NH4, or our ammonia, is at about 10, uh, 0 0.10 parts per million. Our NO2, or nitrites, are 0 parts per million. And our NO3, or nitrates, are 0 parts per million. Our carbonate hardness is Seven, which is way down and our general hard hardness is still at 14 our total dissolved solids were three uh, 343 or 348 48 I can't see on the screen parts per million and that's down 115 parts per million from yesterday and it's a really cool thing is it's down overall almost one third from where we started at like in the 500s which is EPA more than maximum amount of total dissolved solids for drinking water so for those of you with a penchant for the cool and unusual if I have convinced you that a Nano tank is the way to go. I found a dispenser for you. So it is three gallons. It comes with a stand. It has no writing on the glass and no ice insert. I pulled up a listing for fluorite. When I did the search, all I did was put in fluorite substrate. So you have choices here. You can buy it in black, fluorite dark, which is not black, and this is the red here uh, on the far right that I bought without thinking about it. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but I didn't buy it on Amazon. I bought it uh, from another retailer. And then I found you a desk lamp, uh, and I want you to see that you can purchase both uh, a base and a clamp with this desk lamp to, you know, maybe you don't want to clamp it to your desk, you just want it sitting on your desk, or maybe you need to clamp it. I found you one with options that's not going to break the bank. Leave affiliate Amazon links in the show notes below the description. I want to tell you a little story quickly that happened. You know, we've spent a lot of time on water parameters and what we should be doing to set up a healthy tank. And maybe some of you guys are sick of it by now, seeing all the pretty colors and the numbers. But I had a conversation the other day with someone who I asked, why don't you do tank logs? And the response was, well, I don't see the point in it. I hope that I've illustrated in setting up this tank what the point of taking uh, readings is, why you should invest in those kits, and what you can do to kind of change the water that you're using. Next week, we will be talking about livestock, other than the snails who are now in the tank, and I'm sorry I couldn't get a picture. Next week's show will be on Thursday unless our livestock doesn't arrive on time, in which case it'll be either Friday or Sunday. So much for joining us today and especially for your patience. We hope that you have a fantastic weekend. God bless you until we see you again.